Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TCEPs and Fast Films. I'd like to show you how easy it is to do edge effects with TCEPs. A lot of times you get a file like this that has really a hard edge. It's more of a rectangle on a shirt, and it would be much more interesting if, you, if it had a soft edge, either a sawtooth edge or a jagged edge or a paint stroke edge, any kind of an edge other than a sharp, hard edge like this. And TCEPs does this easily. Now, when you run the program, it prompts you and says you must marquee and tell TCEPs where the edge has to be. If you don't tell the program where to put the edge, there's no additional canvas away from this design. So it doesn't know what to do and where to put the edge. You click on the rectangle marquee tool and the program does prompt you and says give it a marquee about a half inch in from the edge of the design. This way when it's doing the edge it actually can use this outside area as the canvas. Now the program will duplicate the file when it runs this routine and will keep the marquee in the exact same spot on the original file. That's important because if you're going to do light and dark shirts, you know that when you run TCEPs, you must have a version of the file with black in the canvas area and a version of the file with white in the canvas area. And if you're going to do a marquee, you really don't know how you've marqueed it. And so what you do is you run the routine and you fill the canvas area with white when it asks you. You come back to your original file that's still marqueed and you run it again and you fill the canvas area with black and now you have your two files. Now we're just going to click on run sawtooth edge and it does tell you about the marquee here. It tells you it'll duplicate the file. Now this is a judgment call. Depending on the file resolution and the amount of edge effect you want, you're going to play with some of these settings. And sometimes you'll do a design and you'll come back and you'll redo it with different settings. This says try a feather value of 20 to 60 pixels. Let's just set the feather value for 30, feather radius. This says increase the options amount and the size will greatly exaggerate the edge effect. Let's make the... Uh, the edge large and sometimes you can't see these changes until you actually run the entire routine. Now the program says what color do you want in the canvas? That's the area around the edge effect and again if you're going to do work on light and dark shirts you know you need two versions of the artwork one in the, with black in the canvas area one with white in the canvas area. I'm going to click on continue. I'll make this white and I'll click on stop and there is my edge effect and this is a sawtooth edged effect and again you can come back and run it again you might you might not like the amount maybe you want it to be more pronounced now if you're going to do work on light and dark shirts you would save this file as uh, C white edge that way you'll know I'm not going to save it. But if we go back to the original, here's the original file, and the marquee is in the same exact spot as what you marqueed before. So we'll run the routine again. Now you must do the same settings. We used 30 for the feather radius, and we used large for the size, and we will now fill the canvas area with black. And now I have my two versions of the artwork, both with the same edge effect, one with the canvas area filled with black, one with the canvas area filled with white. This will be a much easier to print design and look better on a shirt than a solid rectangle. That's how easy it is to run edge effects with TCEPs.